Adoration to the Lord. He reigns. Let's take that together. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Adoration. Adoration to the Lord. He reigns. If you are so excited that you raise, I want you to shout. I want you to shout for joy this morning. I want you to shout for joy this morning. Everybody clap your hands like this. What are you turning to I? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Not like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. Not like you. What are you turning to? I? What are you turning to? I?
Yeah. 
Santa Galaga, Makala protocolo sende, e bagala santa garaga, i mala protocolo sende, e le bangara garaga santa garaga le ya mama 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 i bagala protocolo sende, e la gada 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 gada, i makala protocolo sinda, i bagala sende gere gere gere, i makala protocolo sinda garaga, i makala sinda mama mama, i makala santa gada gada gada, makala I don't know that trouble that has followed you to the house of the Lord this morning. I don't know that burden that is upon your shoulder this morning. I don't know that challenge in your life that looks like there is no God. I want you to begin to speak to them right now. We have called upon the power of the Lord into our midst. We have called upon the presence of the Lord this morning. I want us to begin to speak. Speak against that situation in your life. Speak against that challenge in your life. Speak against that trouble in your life. Speak against that situation in your life. Malasika bagala kruto kolo sete. Ege de ge de ge bagaga gaga ga. I makala kruto kolo sinda gare. Le mama mala bruto kolo sende. E bagala sika daga ba 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 ba. Me kala kruto kolo sete. Ege de se ge de ge de ya gaga ga. I bagala kruto kolo sende. I make the same the game bagala bruto kolo sinda gare. Ele brata kata kata gale, e makala saka daga, i bagala kruto kolo sende, e makala sika daga lea, e mamala broto kolo sende, e bagala santa. Brother, let's begin to speak. Speak, speak this morning. Speak against that situation in your life. E makala santa, e bagala kruto kolo sende, e makala gaga gaga gaga, i makala kruto kolo sende. Pray unto the Lord that the Lord God should touch you this morning. Lord, touch me this morning. Lord, touch me this morning. Visit me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are bigger than the biggest. You are higher than the highest. You are better than the best. You are stronger than the strongest. Father, touch me, Lord. 
Daddy, touch me, Lord. Visit me with your power this morning. Me ba 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 ba. I bagala crudo bolo sete. E magala siga na galera. I bagala crudo bolo sete. E me gele siga na ga. I bagala brodo bolo sete. Me bagala siga na galera. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name we are prayed. We are going to be praying unto the Lord. That the Lord God should open his heavens upon us this morning. I will read from Genesis 28. I will start reading from verse 15 downwards. It's the story of Jacob when he found himself resting at a particular place. And he decided to lay his head down so that he could sleep and he could rest. Remember, he was running away from his father's house after, after he stole Jacob's uh, uh, Esau's blessing. He was on the run. He was troubled. There was a challenge upon his life. But when he decided to rest at this particular place, I would just paraphrase. He said, I saw the heavens open. And I saw a ladder reaching from the heavens down onto the surface of the earth. He said, I now saw angels ascending and descending. And the Lord God was at the top of that ladder. The Lord God was at the top of that ladder. When he woke up, he said, this is the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Remember, he was running away, but the Lord God visited him mightily. And that was how he began his turn around. So I wanted to pray unto the Lord, Father, let the gates of heaven be opened upon me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have come into your house this morning. I have come to honor you, not to honor man. I have come to answer your call upon my life. Let the gates of heaven be opened upon me. Over every troubles, over every challenge, over every ugly situation in my life. Those things that are not giving glory unto your name, that are existing in my life. Daddy, let the heavens be open. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me to find rest. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, over every troubles in my life, Daddy, grant me rest, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, over every situation in my life, Daddy, grant me rest, Lord. Let your presence, let your grace, let it be sufficient unto me. Let your grace be sufficient unto me. Paul said that three times I cried unto the Lord, that the Lord God should take away this stone that is in my flesh. But the response is always getting from God is this. My grace is sufficient unto you. I want you to pray that Father help me to find that grace that will bring me out of every of my troubles. Help me to find your grace that will set me free from every of my captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Lastly, we're going to pray unto the Lord that the presence of the Lord will cover this place of this money. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray because in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. I want you to pray that Father let your presence, let it cover this auditorium. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your presence, let it be seen in our midst this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Only you we want to see. Only you we want to hear. Only you we want to look at. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will not look up unto any man. We will look up unto you so that we can receive that which that you have proposed for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, your presence is what we call for. Let your presence be seen in our midst this morning and let only your name be praised. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, we thank you for this morning. We appreciate you for the prayers we prayed unto you. Father, we hand over the remaining part of this service unto your hands, Lord. Father, take control in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and guide us this morning in the name of Jesus. Help us to worship you the right way in the name of Jesus. And let your glory be seen in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. Let's have our seats. Praise the Lord. So this morning, um, we choir, we have um, a special song to render this day, which is talking about 
God's faithfulness. So the song is saying that God is too faithful to fail. May he be blessed as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen. You are who you are yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you say is what you do. You never fail, you never change. You are faithful till the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. You are too faithful to fail me. You are faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, you've proven yourself in my life, and I've come to realize. You are too faithful to fail me. You are who you are. You are who you are. Yesterday. Today. Today and forevermore. What you say, what you say is what, what you do. do. Our Lord, you never fail. You never fail. You never change. You, never change. you, you are faithful to you. Faithful God, Faithful God, I worship, I worship you. you. I worship you. Faithful, you're too faithful to fail me. Ah, oh, you are too faithful. You are, you are too faithful to disappoint me. Ah, you've proven yourself. You've proven yourself. In my life. And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail me Ah, oh, so faithful, so faithful You're too faithful to fail me Ah, oh, too faithful You're too faithful to disappoint me You've proven yourself You've proven yourself oh, in my life You're too faithful to fail me. Ah, you are too lovely to leave me. Ah, you are too lovely to leave me halfway. What you start, you always finish. Ah, and I've come to realize You are too loving to leave me Ah, so loving, loving, loving You are too loving to, to leave, leave me. me Ah, so loving to leave me, yeah You are too loving to leave me halfway Whatever you say Once you start, you always be and I've come to realize ah, You're too loving to leave me Ah, too faithful, faithful, faithful You are, are too, too faithful, faithful to, to fail me. me Ah, so faithful You're so too faithful, faithful to disappoint so faithful. me ah, You've proven 
yourself, yourself. In my life, every time. And I come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You are too committed to leave me. Yeah. You are too consistent to leave me halfway. Whatever you start, you always finish. Ah, and I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. What you start, you always finish. And I've come to realize You are too faithful You are too faithful to fail me Amen. Amen. Shall we all rise up? I want us to praise God for a few minutes before we go into the world this morning. And I pray the Almighty God will touch somebody this morning and give you a total turnaround in Jesus' name. God bless the choir. Who was the final sin? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes the way. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Brethren, are we dancing this morning? Are we happy? I want everybody to rise up, please. Let's praise the King of Kings. Let's praise the Lord of Lords. Forget about the temperature outside. There's a God in heaven who knows everything. Amen. I can see everything. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. For oh my good. Can you see anything? Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. For oh my good. Can you see anything? Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Me, I can see everything on the around, everything on the around, on the around, on the around for my good. I can see everything on the around, on the around, on the around, on the around for my good. In the mood of worship, he carry me as in the mood. Jehovah, carry us in Ibu. Jehovah, carry us in
For 60 seconds, take a song. Take a song and sing and forget who is beside you. Sing a song to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords in your life. If he's indeed God, if he's bigger than what people say he is in your life, if he's the Alpha and the Omega for you, if he's indeed the rock you are standing on, if God is the portion you have in this land of the living, if he's the breath that you are breathing, if it's your sustainer, if it's your maintainer, if it's your provider, I want you to take a song right now. Under one minute, forget who is standing beside you and sing a song to worship this God. Take a song and give him praise, brethren. Worship this God. Sing that song to appreciate who he is. Brethren, all eyes closed. Focus on the Most High. Focus on Jesus nailed on the cross. Carrying every of your sins and infirmity. Taking every of your problems and nailing it to that cross. Focus on him right now. Shedding that blood on his side. Look at his hand with the blood gushing out. What love can be greater than this? I want you to focus and begin to give him praise. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his kindness. Thank him for his love. Thank him because he's your God. Go ahead and give him praise. The reason you are still living is for this moment like this. To lift up your voice in praise and worship of his name. That is why you are not dead. So that you can still praise him. It is only the living that can praise God. If you refuse to praise him, he said, I will raise stones. I will raise stones to praise me. Let nobody replace you, brethren. Let nobody take your place in him. Do that which God has created you for. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Mighty God in heaven, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father, for a day like this. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your church that is marching on and the gate of hell will never prevail against it. Thank you, mighty Father God, Daddy, for watching over us and keeping us. Thank you because you are our strength. Thank you, Father, because you are our shield. Thank you because you are our buckler. Thank you because you are our everything. Daddy, we appreciate you. We know your worth in our lives. We know that without you, we are nothing. Daddy, we are saying together, thank you. As a church, we say thank you. As individuals, we are saying thank you. Father, accept our thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Lord, as we go into your word, Holy Spirit, come and take over. Let every flesh be crucified. In the mighty name of Jesus, let only the Spirit take over. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, "Lord, the entrance of all give it understanding and also life." Daddy, let your word give life this morning. Let your word give understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please, before you sit down, I want to shake at least two people. Say, "My brother, I'm praying for you today. God will give you a turn around." A turn around for the best. A turn around for the greatest thing that you desire. Amen. Good morning, church. It's another great opportunity to be in your presence. I want to thank the Almighty God for this opportunity again. And I pray the Almighty God will continue to bless every one of us in Jesus' name. I want to thank our daddy. God bless you, sir, for the opportunity. Thank the pastorists and the workers and ministers. And I say that this is a great family of God. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? <laughs> Quickly, without wasting much time, I want us to discuss and talk about the great turnaround. Amen. The great what? Turnaround. How many people want a great turnaround here? Let me see your hand there. The turnaround that will take away every problem and challenges 
that you only be shining and bubbling in the Lord. Today, you will experience that one around in the name of Jesus. I want us to quickly open our Bible to the book of Psalm 126, verse 1. Psalm 126, verse 1. I read, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said they among the hidden, the Lord had done a great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing patience, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, begin a cheese within. The great turnaround. What do we mean when we are talking about the great turnaround? What are we really discussing? We are saying that a situation in a man's life that is so low that nobody expects any form of coming up out of it, but then suddenly, there's a change and a turn around. And people who were looking down on that person suddenly start to look up. What do you call that? It's a great turn around. Amen. Amen. We are talking about a woman who at the age of 65, everybody thought will never be a child again. But suddenly at that age, conceived and brought forth children. What do you call that, sir? It's a great turn around. Because at that level, she has defied every biological law. She has defied every law of human anatomy and physiology. Why? Because there's a God factor in it. In your life this year, you will experience God every step in the name of Jesus. What do we understand or what are we talking about when we say the great one around? We are talking about... Somebody who already has been sentenced and convicted to die. Somebody who already, they've said, the social day, they will carry out the, the killing. But something leads to another. Amen. And the same person received the pardon. And the person became a free man. Somebody people were expecting to have died. Suddenly is walking free. But then that is what? A great turnaround. What are we talking about when we say a turnaround? We are saying that somebody, they've already relegated to the background. That people are saying this one, nothing good can ever come out. Amen. They don't even expect you to rise up anywhere in your family. They can tell you the history of your family. They will say in the generation of your household, your father is the least of them. So they don't expect anything. But suddenly, you became the only person. Anytime they need prob they, there's a problem, you are the one they will call. And go, yeah, please help us again. That is what, sir? A great turnaround. I said, go, somebody will experience a turnaround today. A turn around for the best in the mighty name of Jesus. What is a great turn around? Somebody who has been known for as a sinner, suddenly seeing Shekharao, the head of the Boko Haram, suddenly professing Christ. How do you see that kind of thing? This is somebody who has killed people. We killed people for fun. And suddenly there's a change and he accepts Christ and he's professing Christ. How would you see that? Would that not be a turnaround? It's a great turnaround. I was praying tonight, I mean last night, and I said, God, you have given this word for me this morning, and you, have, you are telling me that there's somebody in your church that will experience a turnaround very, very soon. A turnaround that will make the old church rejoice and congratulate that person. And I know that person is here this morning. And I'm saying that very, very soon, I am decreeing in the name above all names that the church will gather around you to rejoice with you very soon. In the mighty name of Jesus. What do we understand by turn around? Number one, can we open our Bible to the book of Judges, chapter 11? Because of time, Judges 11 from verse 1 to 11. The book of Judges 11, verse 1 to 11. This tells us the story of a man called Jephthah. Jephthah was a Gilead, a Gileadite. But he was the son of a harlot, of a prostitute. And suddenly the brethren gathered together. One day, now they say, come. This one now that is the son of a prostitute. One day, our father will go to where elders go, Abby. 
And now he will come and stand as children of Baba. And he will say, I'm also entitled to inheritance. And everybody gathered together and they chased Jephthah out of the house. And the Bible says, Jephthah ran. As a matter of fact, the word of the, the Bible says, he fled. It's another thing you walking away and moving because they say you should go. But when you flee, it means that they were planning something very bad. That he fled from them. And he went to a land called Tob. And in that land, the Bible says, and Jephthah was walking and mingling with vain men. Another version will say, he was walking and mingling with people that had no ambition. People that had no, just ordinary human beings. Like the area boys, like the Orizas, like the Agberos we know. Those were the kind of people Jephthah was moving with. The whole inhabitants of Gilead heard about the story. They know the story that Jephthah was a child of a harlot. And he was thieving away. But when the time came, when the time of turn around came for Jephthah, when you go further, the Ammonites came to fight Israel. And when they knew that war was coming, and they knew that there was nothing they could do, the head of the whole inhabitant of Gilead gathered together and said, who can help us in this fight? Who can save us in this way? And they went to that land of Tob, to that man that they drove out, that one that was a child of the prostitute, that one that they don't expect anything good from. It was the same Jephthah they went to and said, Jephthah, oh yeah, come back home. Come and lead us and fight against our enemies. And Jephthah told them, eh, ah, were you people not there when I was chased as the son of the harlot? They said, we know. He said, but this time around, you are going to be our saving grace. He said, if that is the case, if I should go and God will deliver the Ammonite to me, I will be the head of the old Gilead. They say, yes, we agree. He said, are you sure? Oh, yeah, he said, put it in writing. And everybody said, we will do it according to what you have said. When you read further, that story is a very lovely story. If you read verse 32 of it, the Bible says, and God delivered the Ammonites in the hands of Jephthah. And he led the Gileadites. The same boy that was sent away as the son of a harlot, now ruling the whole land of Gilead. That was a great turnaround. I'm saying this morning, there is somebody that God is sending this message to. In this land of Canada, God will give you a turn around that will wipe away every of your struggles in the mighty name of Jesus. Another story that shows the turn around in the Bible is the story of Esau. Story of Esau. We all know the story of that young man. How his brother deceitfully took his blessing from the father. As a matter of fact, it was the same soul that he went out after 30 day and night, nothing, no kill, came back home and was really hungry. And the brother who has been hiding his glory because he was the first son, hiding the glory God placed upon him, said, oh yeah, give me uh, your birthright first. And the guy was dying of hunger. I said, give me birthright. I said, what is the essence of birthright if I die now? And he said, oh yeah, take. Let me survive first. And everybody will condemn the man. But there was a turn around later in the life of Esau. And what I love so much was the book of Genesis chapter 33 verse 9. Genesis 33 verse 9. The same Esau that the father said will serve his younger brother Jacob. The same Esau that the father has already pronounced blessing upon his younger one that he will be the one that will help them and lead them all. The same one that sold his birthright because he lacked. The same one that was struggling, that was a nobody, was the same Esau. When you go further to verse, to verse 37, 28, the Bible says that when Jacob was now moving back to his country home, that he packed all his family, his asset, everything he has acquired with his uncle. And he remembered that, ah, Esau is there waiting. Somebody have done bad to. The Bible said he was afraid to the point that he started praying to God. Now, what are we talking about? Genesis 33, 9 said, when he divided all the things he had into three places, he said, you first set go. Camels, sheep, horses, just name it. He sent them ahead as a gift. Please, I want you to look at that verse very well, please. Open to... 
Genesis 37, verse 40. Genesis 37. Praise the Lord. Media, are we showing it? No, Genesis 30, uh, 28, then verse 32 to 40. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Genesis 28 says, that was when the Father blessed him. Now, 32 verse 4 to 7. Sorry about that. And he commanded them, saying, Jacob was telling all his servants, he said, Please say this to my Lord, Esau. Who is the Lord now, sir? Who is Jacob calling Lord? Esau, Abi. Please go on, sir. Your servant Jacob is saying this. I've sojourned with Laban. I've stayed there until now. I have oxen and axes. Aha. Yes. I've sent to tell my Lord. That I might find grace in your sight. And the messenger returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau. He came to meet thee. And for God bless you, sir. Jacob agreed immediately that he was a servant now. Have you? That Esau became the Lord. He said, Your servant, Jacob. Please tell my Lord Esau. Why? Suddenly, God changed the level of Esau. Esau now had 400 bodyguards. Amen. For a man to have 400 men guarding him, he was responsible for 400 men, 400 men with wives and children and their family. I mean, he was taking care of 400, at least 400. If today you, are, you have 400 people serving only you, or you have an establishment with 400 men, they, everybody will respect you, Nabi. They know that things have changed. This was the same guy that could not afford a meal that sold his bed right. Suddenly things turned around. I said this month of January, God will give you a great turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. That three verse nine quickly said, when he finally saw him, and he saw, and, Je and he saw, saw all the things he sent, he said, he said, what is this, my brother? He said, these are the things I've done. I have. And he said, I, I have enough. Keep what you have unto yourself, my brother. I have enough. Esau said, I have enough. I have enough. Keep all you have to yourself, my brother. I am no longer here to beg you. Things have changed. Situations have changed. Power has changed. Hands. Levels have moved. There has been a what? A turnaround. You will experience a turnaround in this month of January in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, why will God intervene to bring about the turn around in man's life? Why does God want to give us a turn around? Number one, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, I know the thought I have towards you. They are thought of what? Of peace. And to give you what, sir? Expected end. God wants every one of us to have an expected end. That which you desire most in life. That height you want in life. That glory of your life that you want to be expressed, God wants it to come to reality. That is why God wants you to have it around. So that what? You can have your expected end. Number two, why will God intervene and give you a turn around? Isaiah 42, verse 8. Isaiah 42, verse 8. Quickly, Isaiah 42, verse 8. It says, I'm the Lord. That is what? My name. And my glory will I not give to who? Another. Neither my praise to graven images. Because he does not want to share his glory with any man. Because if in your current situation, is somebody that is closer to you that says, come, I will help you. 
and I will turn your story around. And the person goes ahead to help you. I'm very, very sure. Every Christmas, you and your family will go there with gifts. Abby, Easter, you will go there also with what? With gifts. Every month, you will do a what? A call and say, Erasa, family in Kosa. Praise the Lord. And you will begin to tell your story to people. So, 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 so. Abi, if it's not for that man, and you are already sharing God's glory. So, God does not want anybody. He wants to take the glory. He wants to give you a turn around that you yourself, when you look at yourself, when they ask you, how did it happen? You won't be able to say. You just know that I know that this is only God. So, when you can figure out how God turned things around for you, it is not God. When you can explain it, it is not God. But in a way that you don't even have the formula for, in a way that you know that this is beyond man, this is God, this is divine, then you know that this is God that has done it. And I'm praying for somebody today, in the name above all names, that the Almighty God will intervene in your situation and give you the turnaround for the best in the name of Jesus. Now, the question is, who can bring a turn around? Who is that person that can give a man a turn around? The answer is only God. It is only God that can give you a turn around, sir. No man. It doesn't matter how connected that person is. It doesn't matter who you think you are related to. But I'm telling you that the one that can give you the great turn around in your life is only God. No man. I lost my father years ago. I remember I was still in school. And all my uncles said, don't worry. Babaku, babaku. For people that don't understand Yoruba, they are telling you that if Baba die, another Baba day. Praise the Lord. It was not even up to a year. My younger brother went to my uncle. Go immediate, my father, immediate younger brother by Papa. My younger brother went. The boy wanted to do um, jam or so. Was it GC or jam? And meanwhile, okay, GC. And the phone was, the time he, he knew it in Lagos State, it was already closed. So he had to travel to Ilori. And they told him, ah, Ilori, they are still selling. So he quickly went back. That was the same man that said, Babaku, Babaku. And my brother went to him. And he gave him money to buy the jam. I mean, GC form. And the boy bought the form and everything. And when the boy was about coming, he told him, he said, this money that we use in buying the GC form and the transport money I will give you. Uh, make sure when you get home, tell your mommy um, from your father's house, the one in Satellite Town, when the rent comes up, we will quickly remove it. Praise the Lord. He collected the money for GC from, from, my brother, from us. He made sure they removed it and deducted it from my father's house rent. That is my own uncle. So there is nobody that can give you the kind of change you desire in life, brethren. There is no man, no matter how close you think they are. Man will disappoint you. Man will tell everybody they are the one that contributed to your success in life. The whole church will know about it. And you think that, ah, the man is so good. Everybody in the church will be looking at you. They are very. So, Praise the Lord. But today, it is God that will intervene for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's only God. So what must you do to get it turned around? Number one, what must you do to get it turned around? Because of my time, be born again. Be what? Born again. Matthew 6, 33. Say, seek here first what? The kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be what? Shall be added. But then it doesn't matter whether you have been coming to church regularly. You need a personal encounter with God. I'm not saying because you came and you were helped by the good family of Grace Sanctuary when you were coming and you relocated to, to Canada and the daddy and mommy were too nice and too kind and they helped you and you are, but you don't have a personal encounter. You can't have that on around, sir. So don't deceive yourself. You must first give your life to Christ. Surrender all to him. Number two. You must know how to pray very well. Many of us were serious prayer warriors in Nigeria. We have gotten to Canada now. We are saying in Canada things must be done uh, like uh, Jelenke. Ah, there is no Jelenke in the things of the spirit, my brother and sister. 
we were praying like madmen in Niger because we know the kind of forces we are dealing with. Who told you there is distance in the, in the realm of the spirit? Who told you that those people are still not there checking things every day? How is it doing? Praise the Lord. They are still monitoring. Amen. They still monitor you. You think you are just free. Because ah, you are looking at distance. I've traveled thousands of miles. And you think they can't. Or why you only tell you? Money or why you only tell you, sir? Brethren, you must be a prayer warrior. Learn how to pray. You keep on praying. Daddy will be telling us to pray here. I see people here praying gently, gently, gently. Ah. And I look at the life in Canada since I came. Daddy, I've been wondering, I've been talking to God lately. It's walk, 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 walk. Walk, walk, walk. Ah. I said, no. Me, I won't just be walking and walking and walking like that. So, God, you must sort me out. Hello, sir. Am I speaking to somebody, sir? No, sir. No. There's a way God can intervene in your situation and you will not be walking like, like, like elephants and be eating like, a, like an ant. And I know that there is somebody here. Because of that person, this message is being brought out today. In this month of January, the Almighty God will intervene in your situation. He will give you an encounter. The encounter that will change the chapter of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I know a brother in my church. Quickly. We were ministers together in Nigeria. And this brother had married with three children. And brother, his city was struggling as a man of God. Highly anointed. Gifted man of God. But he was struggling. When it's time for school fees, he will call all the, uh, brother Kini, brother Ani Yejo, uh, oh, school and money, and every one of us in our little way will contribute. When it's time for house rent, we will still contribute. And we were looking at this man of God with anointing. Praise the Lord. And he let, it was later he told us the father was a major contractor to Shell in Port Harcourt. The man was a multi-millionaire in Port. And his first son, brother, I said he was struggling in Lagos. And we were looking, what happened? He said the mama so, suddenly at Porter Court. One Porter Court woman just hijacked the papa, drove the mama out, and, you know, took over. A strange woman, sir. And the man was struggling to survive in Lagos. Meanwhile, the father was living like a king in Port. And we kept on praying. Until suddenly, brother, I said he sent the test to us, he sir. I just heard the news now, sir. They said that woman has died in Porter Court. Now, at that level, nobody wants anybody to die. But if the one that is going to stop you from fulfilling purpose and destiny, if that person should die for your glory to shine, let that person die. You. Praise the Lord. Are you following me, sir? If you are not going to, if somebody is going to prevent you from fulfilling purpose and destiny, what God created you for, and God is, are you the one that killed the person? So be you are just praying, Father, take him away. Take him away. Take her away. Take. Praise the Lord. Uh, everybody, we are in Canada now. We are doing, uh, hey, may God have mercy. And we are so happy. We heard the story that somebody died and we were rejoicing. Sir, I am telling you, it was like magic. In less than four weeks, a city, brother, a city, papa called. He said, a city, where are you? He said, I'm in Lagos, sir. He said, Lagos. When was the last time you came to visit me? Ah, the brother kept quiet. He said, what kind of rubbish son are you? You can see me doing things here all alone. And you are there in Lagos State. And the brother said, I'm sorry, sir. He said, sorry for yourself. Oh, yeah, I want you right now in Porter Court. Before the end of, he said, sir, I don't have money. How much do you need? And that changed the story of that brother till date. Till date. I am praying for you here this morning. I don't know the challenges of life you are going through. I don't know what is standing as hindrance, preventing your glory to show forth. But this month of January, the Almighty God will give you a turn around in the name of Jesus. Three. You must believe in God. You must have faith. Habakkuk 2.4. You must have faith because of time. Without faith, it is impossible to do what? To please God. You must believe that the only God that can give you a turn around. No man, not man. Number four. You must be a crazy giver. 
a sower into God's kingdom. Amen. We have been talking so much about, we are moving to our new uh, worship center. We are moving to our worship center. The church has written letters. We have collected letters. We have been talking and talking and talking. And every one of us, we are, sir, a great turn around comes from the one who is totally sold to the things of God. Amen. Somebody who is what, sir? Totally sold. You must be. A, Solomon did what nobody ever did. And God visited him. How many people want just visitation? You can't just, you must do what nobody has done. You must provoke God to come to you. So that you can experience it on around. Solomon era was the most peaceful in the reign, in the land of Israel. He never lifted up a sword like this to fight any war. Why? He sacrificed what nobody ever did. What are you willing to give to God? Hello, sir. No, what are you willing to do? I'm going to round up here. Amen. But I, have, I was led by God to do what I'm about doing now. Praise the Lord. We are going to sow sacrificially to that property. God is the sustainer of every one of us here. Amen. God is what? He's the one sustaining. And he told, he said, listen to me. He said, have you seen the birds in the, the fowl in the air? He said, do they walk? Do they toil? He said, but yet they don't lack. Praise the Lord. If God can supply to all the fowls and the animals in the bush, what much us who are made in the image of God? You need to learn how to sow sacrificially. Sow in a way that when you do it, you yourself, you begin to look at yourself. It blesses out on the crease. Do it for God. And see whether God will not respond. So please, I just want quickly, without wasting time, Pastor, please permit me, sir. I want to be number one amongst 25 people here this morning who is willing to sow a thousand dollars to the work of God. Hi, listen to me, sir. I've not started the work in Canada. I'm still looking for a job. I'm still writing exam. But I'm going to sow a thousand dollars today so that the work of God will move on. But I need 24 other people to join me. Those that want to challenge God and provoke God. Are you listening to me? People that don't mind. See, listen to me. It is not about what you think you have in your hand. It's about the greatness and the bigness of God. It's about the one that can give you a change and turn around and people will begin to wonder, how did it happen? So, under five minutes, I will round up and pray. But God said, we must do something about it. We See, nobody should come outside. It is not angels that will come from above. It is you and I that God will use. I am always a sower of the kingdom of God and I've seen what God has done so much in my life. So please, if you are among that 25, please can you just rise up and come forward. If you want to be part of this, I am going to be number one. I'm going to give a thousand dollars today so that the work of God can continue. If you want to join me, you are sowing sacrificially. The Bible says those that sow in tears, they shall reap in joy. So there's a level of sowing that will bring tears. Not for you, but for the work of the kingdom. For the work of the kingdom. Please, if you're in the house, can you rise up quickly before I drop the mic, before we pray? It's not about the person that is talking. It's about the God you are serving. I'm going to be number one. Number two. God bless you, my brother. Please come forward. God bless you. Please don't look at whoever that is there. It's not about clapping, my brother. God bless you, sis. But we are talking about how the work of God will move on. We want to close our eyes and tell God that God, everything we have comes from you. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Everything that we have is from who? It's from God. And it must be used only to glorify God. God bless you, my brother. Please, quickly, quickly, we don't have more time. Quickly, we don't have more time. I want us to sow sacrificially. 
This is a sacrifice. You are telling God, God, I want to provoke you. I don't have it. It's not so much, but I am going to give it for your work. That your kingdom might move forward. And see how God will respond. He's not a man that will lie. Neither the son of man that will repent. You cannot challenge. Solomon did it, sir. He gave a thousand offering. And you're also going to give a thousand dollar. Hello, sir. Please connect to this thing. It's highly spiritual. I want you to understand. And mark today. In the lives of these ones. No, no other person for the one thousand dollars. All right. Quickly. Because we don't want anybody to, to be out of it. You, don't, you can contribute five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Before the end of this month, January. By end of this month, let's do it. Five hundred dollar, please. Can you come forward? Five hundred dollar, come forward, come forward, please, quickly, 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 quickly. We are sowing sacrificially. Sowing sacrificially. Amen. No five hundred dollar. All right. Because of time. Ushers, please, can we get a small piece of paper? Any amount in your heart. We want to do it before the end of this month. Today is 19. Today is 19. We are going to do it before the end of January. The man of God has been talking about it. And his no angel will not come from above. But those ones that are willing to. The Bible says those that love themselves. Those that love their life will lose it. And those who are willing to give down their life, they are the ones that will save it. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Until you release, you can't collect. As heaven and earth endures, seed time and harvest will never cease. Praise the Lord. So please, I want anybody that also has something in mind, please join us outside so that we can pray together and the Almighty God will answer our prayer. Whatever in your mind, but minimum of $100, before the end of this month. Minimum of $100 before the end of January. Please, you can join us. Anybody quickly before we pray? Anybody quickly before we pray? Please come forward. Come forward. Let's pray. I want to agree with you this morning. God bless you. For the ones that are less than a thousand, please give them the Give them the paper. Amen. Please join us, sir. Don't be a non-looker. Don't calculate with your head of mathematics. If you are surrendering, surrender to what God all. See, that is what being a believer is all about. We are not walking by sight, sir. We are walking by the Spirit. By faith. That is how we are serving God. It's by faith. And the just shall live by faith. Shall we pray? Mighty Father in heaven, we just want to say thank you. Bless you, Father, for your word tonight. You are the God of great turnaround. Father, Lord, Daddy, in obedience to what you have asked me to do this morning, I've, I'm doing right now, your children who are willing to put you first in all, the, your children who are saying that it is you above all here, that you are the one that can sustain them. It is not what they get every two weeks that keeps them going, but you the most high. Father, Lord, as they do this, oh God, I pray, Baba, let the windows of heaven be open unto them. Amen. Before the end of this January, my Lord, my God, Father, make it very, very easy for them to fulfill this vow. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, I am praying in the name, above all names, as a servant of God, for what you have sent me to do. You are the one that told me that I should do this. That for those that will do it and obey and follow suit in this instruction and take that faith, that leap of faith that you will surprise them. Father, Lord, I pray, Baba, what men call pleasant surprise. Father, give unto this one in Jesus' name. My Lord, my God, Daddy, Baba, prove to them you are the Almighty. Prove to them that you are the great sustainer. Prove to them you are the great provider in the name of Jesus. Those they have been knocking before now that refuse to open, Baba, let those doors open on their own accord for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, let your house be established. I say, let your worship house be established. And let the glory be yours. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' powerful name, we are praying. Amen and amen.
Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's just quickly stretch our hands to the man of God and just pray that God will replenish um, every virtue that has come forth from him and that every blessing of obedience God will give unto him and the word has come forth from, from his mouth. God will back it up with signs, wonders, and testimonies and that God will bless him, his family, and all that pertains to him. God will perfect in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, as we usually do, let's stand up and welcome our neighbor and just say, this is my season of turnaround. This is my season of turnaround. I see things turning around for my good. I see things turning around for my good. It is our season of turning around, of turnaround in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So it's announcement time. Do we have anyone worshiping with us for the first time? If this is your first time in this uh, solution, ground, miracle center, we'd like to welcome you especially. Anybody? Anybody? No? We're all landlords and landladies. All right. Please, let's, let's uh, reach out to people out there, bring them to church, and God will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. So our weekly activities, uh, we have uh, Digging Deep on Tuesdays between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. and that's when we gather together to study the word of God in depth and on Thursday we also come here between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. to to pray and spend time um, in, in the place of prayer so please let's keep those times um, in mind Tuesdays and Thursdays to come fellowship with one another and um, about our building projects uh, we are encouraged to continue doing so for those that have been contributing, for those who have made vows and pledges this morning. God will bless us. God sees our heart. And as long as we are willing, God will always make a way for us to, you know, do the desires of our heart. So please keep this in mind, our church building project. It is it's going to happen in Jesus' name. It's, it's settled in Jesus' name. So um, for those of us that use the POS terminal, Please, uh, you are, we are all reminded to put the merchant copy in our envelope, write our name, the amount, you know, um, for um, our reconciliation purposes. So don't forget the merchant copy goes into the envelope. And as announced last Sunday regarding the Wi-Fi, we thank us for our obedience and compliance, and we are encouraged to continue doing so. So when we come to church, let's turn off our Wi-Fi so that there will be enough... Um, power or the Wi-Fi will be sufficient for our broadcast on YouTube and, and Facebook. God bless us as we obey in Jesus' name. So uh, our letter of financial support is also back to our building project. For those of us that got it, please, if you still have it at home, on, in your Bible, in your purse, in your car, please um, just uh, take that uh, step to give it out to whoever you had in mind. And if you also need soft copies, just provide your email address to Brad Brendan or anyone in the in the pastor's office, and they can send copies, soft copies to you, and you can forward it to order. God bless us as we obey in Jesus' name. So um, something very important that we all have to do this morning. This sheet, the ushers are going to be passing this around, and it says contact details update. Contact details update. We all have to do this before we leave church this morning, and it's very important. One, for the purpose of um, updating everyone's information. The church wants to make sure that we have everyone's information handy. And uh, more importantly, we know it's tax season very soon. And most of us are already preparing to file our taxes. So uh, we need updated information for everyone so that, you know, we, when we print uh, the tax uh, receipt, we are, we are printing it um, and addressing it to the right address and right person so that we don't have to waste resources with printing them. Praise God. And this is how it works. Like if there are four members of your household, mother, father, son, daughter, 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 son, son, four of you, everybody. So it means that you have to get two of this. You feel that is information, mommy's in information, child one, child two's information. Even if the child is just two months old. Praise God. Well, okay, even one, one day old, right? As long as the baby is here, praise God. So everybody's uh, information has to be here. So do we understand? Every member of your household has to feel this. 
Praise God. All right, God blesses us. We obey in Jesus' name. And this has to be submitted and returned back to the ushers today. Praise God. So um, once you get this right now, feel it, feel it properly, correctly, and make sure you give it back to the ushers before you leave church today. Praise God. All right. Uh, good news. Good news. Let's celebrate Jesus. When there's good news, that means God has done something great. Look to your neighbor and say, you are next. Uh -uh. I am next in Jesus' name. I am due for promotion. Ah. Uh, I want a lot of money. I'm due for that, you know. But yes, I'm next in Jesus' name. Praise God. So the church is invited to come join the Adewumi family, the Adewumi's family, as they dedicate their baby. Uh, baby David will be coming to church for the first time, February 1st. So let's keep that in mind. We are all invited to come join and celebrate the family as they bring the baby to church for the first time. So February 1st, baby dedication, the Adobe Miss family. Praise God. Things of joy will not cease in our midst in Jesus' name. All right, so our, our monthly night video is coming up this next Friday, January 31st, and it starts by 9.30 p.m. So please, let's uh, keep that date in mind. January 31st, our monthly night VG is going to be the first one of the year. You don't want to miss it. Uh, there is one winter boot, one winter shoe available, a man, men's winter boot. So if you are in need of it, like it's right there in front of the children's department. If it's your size, you can pick it up. It's in front of the children's department. Praise God. We are also reminded that we have a prayer box at the back of the church. We have a team dedicated to praying on this request, the Salvation Army. So if you have a, a, a prayer request, you can drop it in the box. And when they meet, they will pray on it and God will answer and testimonies will follow in Jesus' name. Please do not forget that our services are recorded on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, you can always uh, go back to them and share them with your friends on social media. You know, um, you just have to search RCCG Grace Sanctuary Saskatoon and all the videos are, all, are on there. And uh, that brings us to the end of the announcement. If there are any more announcements, they will be disseminated before the end of the service over our church WhatsApp page. And we are also reminded that the page is strictly for information purposes. Uh, so um, let's uh, maintain that. And if your number is not on there, if you are not on the churches, churches or WhatsApp group, please provide your contact number to or any of the any of the ministers or the pastoral team, and they will have you on there. Praise God! It's offering time. Praise the Lord. Offering time. Offering time. Let's package our offering as we're going to give to the Lord. If you didn't bring your check, POS as the back, go there and just press the number. I want us to rise on our feet. And I want us to begin to speak into our offering. I want us to begin to speak to our offering this, mor this morning that the Lord God will bless us in return. Let's begin to say good thing to your offering. Let's say good thing to him. Let's connect your offering to the King of the Lord of Lords this afternoon. I know as you give to the Lord, I know you never remain the same. The shower of blessing will be open unto you. And the Lord will divinely connect you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Dad. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Receive my praise, O oh Lord.
want us to close our eyes to pray. Our Father, we thank you this afternoon. We thank you for this precious time that God has given to us to give back unto him. Thank you, Father, Lord God, because anytime we have the opportunity to give unto you, we know that the blessing will follow. Thank you for this afternoon, Daddy. Thank you, Lord, as we dip out into our pockets and give unto you this afternoon. Daddy, we pray that we bless us in return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we be obedient to your word this afternoon, Father, we pray that you will release your blessing unto us this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, once again, I pray to your people according to Psalm 20 today that in the time of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not only that, the Bible says, say, may God send you help in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In any area that you are looking for help, as you do this unto your King of Kings, the Lord will send help unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray as we start a new week, Lord. The new thing will begin to happen into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If other people are casting down, the Bible made us understand we shall be lifted. So shall it be into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If other people are rejected, Lord, people will begin to honor you this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If other people are crying, I pray you will dance your dance and sing your sing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus If honor people are saying it's hard, the Lord will make it so easy for you this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy Lord. Thank you for everything you have done for us, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Praise the Lord. Can you please sit down for one minute? Please usher a choir away to we are going to sing. Amen. Uh, if you have not submitted the form you collected, let me tell you that form is for two purposes. One for tax, tax receipt. And two, I know many of you will be wondering, okay, what of the kids? The kids are not going to get tax receipt, but we don't want to miss anybody's birthday or wedding anniversary please you know at times we miss some names so we want to update our data please so it's necessary that's why we say that even if that baby is one day old or one hour old in as well that the baby has a name we want a form for the kids or for the baby praise the lord so and anytime we have new baby so as soon as we do the dedication that very day the name will be added into the system. Amen. God will help us in Jesus' name. And uh, concerning uh, you know, our building, I know that God of heaven is going to use, is going to use me. He's going to use every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we have been encouraged, please, let us get involved. Let me tell you this. Even people from other parishes, they are in full support. I must tell you. I received a text yesterday, sir, do you want me to send in Tarak or check? I say check will be better. Praise the Lord. We are having people from many places ready to support. So if you are in, you are within the fold and you just say it doesn't concern me it concerns you and i praise the lord because god of heaven will not use stone he will not use animals he will use human beings and it's not a god that we owe anybody praise the lord what if you give to god although it might be hard it might be so tough, but, but we are using it as a what? As a, uh, as a means. For God, 
to remember you. And God of heaven will remember you for good in the mighty name of Jesus. That's just a word of encouragement for all of us. Amen. And uh, I said that we are taking possession of our building by March 1st by the grace of God. Work is going on. You know, I, I mean, the, all the documents are being worked on. And possibly even before the end of this month, all the paperwork, everything will be done just to wait to take over the building. Praise our Lord. And when we take over the building, we tell us more about what and what we need to do. Praise the Lord. But let me just say this. Apart from what we give as individuals, the main group of this church, there is something you must give that is compulsory. The women group, there is something you are going to give that is compulsory. So by March 1st, by the grace of God, we will hand over that thing to the men group and the women group. And we give you ultimatum when you bring those things. Praise the Lord. The Almighty God will help us in Jesus' name. So that one is not, a, it's not no negotiation on that. Praise the Lord. Men, bring this. Women, bring this. And we give you, we need this thing by so date. Amen. By March 1st again, when we take over the building, I'm going to ask you a question. Amen. So the question I'm going to ask you is this. You think about it before March 1st. Do you want to go with these chairs to the new building? So, I mean, do you want, do you want to continue using these chairs in a new church? Don't answer today. You will answer March 1st. Amen. So, your answer will determine what we are going to do. Amen. Let's start on our feet as we are going to close the service. Everlasting Father, Lord of Ages, we bless your name for today's service. We thank you for what you are beginning to do in the life of your children. Thank you, Lord Father, for that seed of turnaround that we have sown in the life of your people today. And I pray, Father, even as they are leaving this place, they are beginning to experience that turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of their life, they will come back and share testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that are still struggling, that are still moving around a circle, I pray in your glory, you will remember them for greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. Those whose great things have eluded before, I pray, Father, even as they leave this place today, those things that have eluded them be, begin to look for them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will come back to share testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. You will make their case like that case of the children of Israel. When you turn again their captivity, it was like as if they were dreaming. Father, I pray that you turn again the captivity of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. You will put a new song in their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in your glory, your children will not spend their money on sickness. They will not spend their money to pay police fines. They will not spend their money on accidents. But their money will be used for your own glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father, because I pray answering God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's join our hands together as we are going to sing the family song.
are going to speak into the life of your brother and your sister. You will say, as you are going now, you will experience 